I'm going to make you work for your dollar. Say something with that great radio voice. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. In 2011, a YouTube video of a destitute man with unique talent exploded on the internet. To many, Ted Williams was just a drug-addicted, homeless person who had a golden voice. I was a functional alcoholic at that mm -hmm. point, I thought. And alcohol has always been a part of my life. Was but it I, the drugs then that took you down? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I started snorting cocaine, and, and then I started smoking it, uh, the crack and all of that. And my life just went to the pits. I was at the homeless shelters in Columbus. But to Kraft Foods, he was a man who just needed a second chance. But rather than just helping him with a handout, Kraft decided to give Ted Williams something much more important. A job. Now I'm the official voice of Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. It was Kraft's belief that making Ted the voiceover for their flagship product, Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, would bring massive attention to Kraft Foods' effort to help end hunger. Now I'm more appreciative of life, I'm not taking it for granted, and I am thanking the Lord every day. Within two days of the video going viral, Ted Williams was signed by Kraft to be the voice of the successful You Know You Love It campaign. A feat within itself, considering the huge risk a multi-billion dollar corporation was taking by hiring him. Kraft Homestyle Macaroni and Cheese. Cheesy noodles topped with golden brown bread crumbs. That following Saturday, Ted's first commercial debuted in the Kraft-sponsored college football game, Huddle to Fight Hunger. From that moment, Ted's life started to change for the better. You are this sensation, and people can't get enough of you right now. The man with the golden voice. You were panhandling yeah. Yeah. two days ago, three yeah. days ago, yes. on the streets of Columbus, Ohio. Yes. You're in New York City now, and you're on national television. Isn't that something? And becoming the voice of mac and cheese gave him the national platform to help other homeless people. And even when Ted twice fell back into drug addiction months later, uh, the weight of the world was on my shoulders. Um, yeah. Kraft stood by him, never once pulling an ad or replacing his voice. Today, Ted has a new fiance, owns his own home, and continues his role as a major spokesperson for the Kraft company. You know you love it. But his value to the homeless community as their golden voice is infinite, a reward that was well worth the risk. I mean, now I want to try to really focus on the Second Chance Foundation, at which I want to give back to what America has given me.